So here we are, we've safely installed the image onto the micro SD card and we have ejected that, or we should, at least we should do. So we can see that being ejected. And that means we can take the SD card out of there. I always like to get rid of that and then effectively take the SD card out. And then we can put that in on the underside of our Raspberry Pi. So is it the clickable type? In this case it is. Okay, so we'll push that across and that's fine. Um, so, on the Raspberry Pi 3s, you just slot it in, there's no click. So the job is done. It's sitting there ready, waiting for a bit of power and stuff. So we're going to need, um, well, we're certainly going to need something in the shape of a keyboard and mouse. So I'm going to use this beastie. So if I take out its USB adapter uh, and then plug that in, of course, into one of the free ports, that's uh, ready. Um, then, of course, we're going to need some networking. Um, in fact, I can put the power in now if I wanted to, because um, I've got a USB uh, adapter cable here, which of course has got the correct duck mouth type thing at the end. So we'll plug that in. So that sort of changes the orientation. So we'll have the the Pi that way round. Then we've got Etherneting, so Ethernet, and that requires an Ethernet cable, so we'll plug that in to our powered port. Now we can turn that beastie on. That's the, the Ethernet's on, so we'll just bring that around and into the Raspberry Pi the correct way around. So we've got starting to get the cables in. Uh, we've also got some um, USB to Ethernet adapters. So we'll plug uh, that beastie in into one of the free USB ports. Might have a couple of those, so you could bring in more. Yeah, but we can add those in later. We don't need to have those just yet. Okay, so we've got that. Next thing, of course, we'll need is a HDMI lead coming off a suitable monitor into the HDMI socket. And we can see that's the correct way around. So we've got Ethernet in, and that's actually the Ethernet is actually up and running. Just make sure that's in. We've got our power lead in, and we've got some form of keyboard and mouse available to us uh, via this beastie. So there's there's our mouse function, as well as our up and down arrows. Nice little keyboard set this, and it does work, uh, which is um, an added bonus, I think you might say. So we'll just simply turn the power on. It should start flashing down here and the image is in here so it should actually start to appear on the screen you'll see the sort of three raspberries appear on the black screen and then it will go in and be ready for us okay well I'm not going to show the stage in terms of the screen uh, just be via an HDMI capture but um, what I am going to do is I'm going to show you what that looks like now on the ether now of course we need to bring in networking so we need to put in, we need to plug our Ethernet switch into our local network. So we'll do that. Right, so with a suitable lead, just bring in and should have some flashing lights. There we have. Good, so that's all working over here. Over there. Good. And it's a case now of, um, yeah, it's up and ready. And we'll do the configuration. Now the only config I want to do at this point is to add in VNC and then we can do everything remotely and take the keyboard and stuff away. So I'll show you what we do on the big screen. So we'll do that just in part three.